In this demo, I'm going to go through one way you can approach modeling this revolving door for your project for this um, class. We want to add a little bit of detail, kind of help the, the model have a sense of scale. Um, as you add more detail, that's, it only adds to the realism of the, the model itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at a photo of a revolving door, just so I can kind of get my head around what it is that I'm modeling. So here's just a, you know, a, a typical revolving door. With a smaller door, you're typically going to have four door leaves here. And you're going to have the side curved panel on each side that's going to help as the door turns, it's going to keep the, um, the outside air from coming into the inside and keep it more weather tight. Now you're also going to have this top piece. So I'm going to go back into AutoCAD here. And I'm going to make a few adjustments because the, the block that we've got here is kind of a generic revolving door block. And I'm going to update it to uh, better represent what it is that we're trying to show. So I've created just a, a 3D layer so that I can keep everything separate from this door layer. And I'm going to give myself a few guidelines here to start with. I'm going to make sure I start with the center of the circle and give myself some 45 degree angles. To work with because I'm going to create those four blades and then whoops you know what, let me just mirror this okay so now I've got two whoops I didn't finish my command there we go so now I've got these two guidelines to help me now I'm going to use some of the existing geometry of this door block to help me out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle right over top of this center piece. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a polyline using the shapes that I've got here. and the polyline will give me something easy to extrude. Okay, so now I've got um, a polyline here. I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to select what I just drew, do a rotate based on this center, and go 45 degrees. Whoops, try that one again. Rotate. Forty-five degrees, there we go. And then I'm going to mirror it. And again, I'm going to mirror so that I get the other two. So now what I want to do is I'm going to create polylines for these two side panels. And I'm going to line them up with this 45 degree guideline that I've got. So I'm going to start with a polyline. Okay, so now I've got a polyline here, and again, I can just mirror this, because this is a symmetrical door. So now I should have almost all of my pieces I need. Now I just need to do a circle for the um, top piece. So I'm just going to draw one like that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to freeze off this door layer so that I've got it sort of out of my way and I've got all of my pieces that I need to um, to look at. I'm also going to get rid of my guidelines and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip over into an isometric view so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into my 3D mode and I'm going to use extrude so I'm going to select my center circle here and my door leaves and those side panels. Okay, 
So now what I want to do is I want to extrude it up. I'm going to extrude it up 7 feet. So that's going to give me the basic geometry of the door. Now what I need to do is add that top. And again, I'm going to use extrude. And I'm going to extrude this up 6 inches. Now, we don't want the top at the bottom here, so we need to move it up. So now I'm going to select that, pick Move, and I'm going to kind of zoom in here and get to my, let's see if I can get to my, uh, well, we'll do, we can do it from here, I think. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up 0, 0, 7 feet. Let's see how we did. Yep, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is now, let's just take a look at it from the front and make sure that we got the top to the top. Yep, that looks pretty good. So now if we want to, we can um, combine all of these pieces into one to make one um, 3D object. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these pieces and I'm going to go to Union. Okay, maybe I'll let me see if I got it there. Nope. Okay, so I have to go to Union first and then select all my objects and hit Enter. So now I have a, a piece in my model that's going to act all as one, um, one volume. So like I said, that's one way you can approach this and um, give it a little bit more sense of scale and detail. Um, and really try to start to show what this door would look like. So give it a try. Let me know if you have questions.